Hello everybody and welcome back to Weird Music Place. Thankfully it's currently very silent. I observed everything from the western wall. Splendid performance, Magnanimous. Mayhap you have discerned this during your short time here, but House Fortemps regards outsiders differently than other high houses. We have no objections, oh hello music, uh, to employing adventurers and swords, for example, whereas others have, for all intents and purposes, forbidden the practice. They do so at their peril. To disregard a man's talent solely because of circumstances of his birth is short-sighted and foolish. You know, after watching you spar with our knights, I am reminded that you are, are a woman of action. Doubtless you would rather take a more active role in my inquiries, yes? Then let us discuss how you can do just that. Solve your own problems! No! This is happening all over again. As you have doubtless realized by now, the High Houses of Ishgard, House Four Temps included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there are not influential individuals within each house who are sympathetic to your cause. Lady Neen of mine, own House Four Temps, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. There is also Kravelin of House Halin Narte, who can be found at Skyfire Locks, though any information you pry from the scribe may prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Durain there yet? Really? Hmm, perhaps he will be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House Fortemps. Do not concern yourself with House Dredzamil. I shall contact them myself. Seek the counsel of the three I mentioned and return to me when finished. Okay. I I am seeking a ship that fell here five years ago. Have you seen my ship? You know what? I rather I can't keep my old armor on. The new one's a bit too ugly. Why, hello, good madam. What's that? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. 
Yay! It's yeah! <laughs> like, no one of House Fortems does for if they did, I would definitely know as well. The topics on everyone's lips these days is what will become of young Lord Fratkill. Some say that allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Halianarte have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. Would you like this other random piece of gossip instead? What do you mean, no? So much snow. Very flat snow with politics. It's almost like watching Game of Thrones. Except Final Fantasy is still a bit more exciting. Where is that person that I'm supposed to find? Ah, uh, hello here. Hello and grant me strength. There must be some way to... Oh, who are you? A friend of Lord Hoshifant? I want to help you, I truly do, but these accusations of heresy have thrown House Halinarte into chaos. Right now we must focus on combating these charges and preserving our reputation. Nobody will help you until you get this poor boy out of trouble. God has more nudity, but we have more cat girls. <laughs> the answer is buttholes. <laughs> well, it depends what you like, I suppose. Maybe you're into cancerous buttholes. <laughs> My cat walks down just screaming. If really wants to go outside, but for one thing, he should have his flea medication reapplied. Or else my house becomes into fleas. I gather you have been busy since last we spoke. Lord Hotchapan's missive was possibly going. But if you think that this is endorsement is cause for me to disregard his guardian policies, then you're sorely mistaken. We are at war, madam. And the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, in the short time since Inquisitor Gulaim arrived in Quartus, countless heretics have been discovered, even amongst the elite of his guardian society. If Lord Hoshifont wishes to waste his days chasing after long-lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. <laughs> present state of affairs. <coughs> Present state of stairs in here is awesome.
This is a very long road. I could just teleport. I say after running half the distance. Wish the Tierra Point also had an etherite, that would be really nice. <laughs> then I would just be like, port, port. Port, port. Hello, everybody's too preoccupied with the boy. By your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use. Nor did I, I fear. It seems the whole of Corthus is consumed by the talk of heretics in the high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgard proper provide more pertinent information. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Hello, Hosh and Fant. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Franco, of whom much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen heading north towards the Steel Vigil. The outpost was long ago overrun by a Treverian horde, so I am not certain what he intends to accomplish with such a small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Free journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Frackle's party requires assistance. Go and check if more people died. Got it. So I should just fly up to them and go, are you dieted? Yes, no, maybe. Can you still see? Can you still breathe? Can you still talk? Those are the important questions. It's really funny to think that at some point, when the realm reborn was the shit. This part was even worse. Like you were giving far less XP for each main scenario, main, main story quest. That XP was buffed to all hell. And there were like no side quests from like level 45 onwards. So for five levels people tended to just grind. It's not safe here, we must flee! Ah! Always saving the day, that's, that's... That's what we do. That is just what we do. This one smelt quite easily now. It's good. It's like a cheese sandwich. Nice and melted. Who goes there? Magnanimous? No, stay back. The fiend is still here. Oh, this one is very grand. Are we gonna argue that it's not grand enough as well? Doesn't look very grand to me. You see, it, it's not the issue that we're the hero, it's the issue that we seem to be the only hero that does absolutely everything, including delivering parcels. You did it, but what of the others? You're unfit to be a knight, unfit knight. Go home. Confound it all. How are we to redeem House Leonarte if we cannot even slay a single air Jarvis? You tried to redeem your house by slaying a thing. Don't think that that's how it works. 
<laughs> Limo driver or family man? Your personal psychologist? Your nanny? Am I mute? Oh. Oh, you mean... You mean in game. We talk much later. Like, I haven't sworn onwards to include, like, conversation choices. <laughs> and some of them is to stay mute. <laughs> Okay, we're back for like a couple more minutes. <laughs> it was a foolish thing to do, I know, but I had to hope we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of scale skin. Moreover, it was House Holly and Arte that yielded the steel vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these depicable accusations of heresy, and despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my protestations fall on deaf ears, I will proclaim my innocence in my dying breath. Good for you, little boy! You know the sad thing about Twitch? I don't get paid for those ads. On YouTube, I do. Yeah, they do lie. They only pay if you're good enough. If you're not good enough, they're like, well, monetize on your own accord, but you, you, you won't get anything. No. Okay, stream, all we want to do is go in and talk to Hoshifant. <laughs> Once more! What did you find at Steel Vigil? Ah, I see, a reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him in his nights and lives. I have news for you as well. A witness for final fight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It always is. Has some become acknowledged, common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Fracnio at Skyfire Locks not long ago. Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably... For Tyson to make your acquaintance, for fear of being seen in company of a woman who might later be declared a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal in which Inquisitor Guilherme has conducted his investigations. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Fressel's name, and by association, yours. Oh, joy! Now I'm a heretic. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Hopefully my internet will be a tiny bit less dicky than yesterday. I mean, my streaming still went into yellow a bit, so I'm kind of worried about that, but we'll see. As I see it, the key to providing Lord Frankel's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself recovered. If you would please tell me of the incident in question. 
So it was found in a locked chest labeled as the property of Lord Francel. If the rosary was not his, then someone else with access must have planted it. Here is what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Ricked Man, who works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Corthus, so he may have some inkling of what could, of who could be responsible. Okay, so we're proving his innocence now, I suppose. I guess we decided on that at some point. Screw you music, I'm gonna have my awesome chocobo out and I'm gonna listen to that instead. Much better. Hello, freaky man. Eh? Someone tampering with shipments? Fury strike me down if all of them rosaries found in our people's possessions were planted. Hey now, don't you give me that look, lass. I'm in the house hilarity man though and through and through. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family too. I ain't saying the porters who what were bringing the shipment did it though. I know most of them what work the trade routes and I've never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it Eh? Could it been the fellas who are responsible for the inspections? Ha! Is guardian knights and inquisitors a lot of them? As if they ever turned their cloaks. Reckon that means the porters are your most likely suspects. Hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There is a crew coming to Camp Dragonhead from Whitebrim from this eve. You might consider having a word with them. Honestly, because it's the Inquisitor's job, I would suspect the Inquisitors, but that's just me. Like, you know, if you're catching no real heretics, invent a heretic here and there, and you get to keep your job. And that's what matters, keeping your job. Let's see. Oh, now the stream's green, so... Hopefully it will stay that way. Otherwise, I will be very worried. Hello, Porter. Did you plant any rosaries? Beg your pardon? You suspect that we, Porters, have been planting draconian rosaries in House Aliarte shipments? What nerve! If you truly believe such nonsense, search your parcels and see what you find. Ah, I found one. Found two! Are we finished? If so, I would pr appreciate an apology. Well, what is this then? But that's impossible! Once the night at White Brim Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. Say what you will to roll Horchifant, I will not be held accountable for this. Night said inspection is like polluting the parcels with ros with free rosaries. <laughs> and that's how you should look at it. It's like you get a rosary for free. Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Ah, oh, but more importantly, what did Ricky Man have to say? More draconian rosaries in every single parcel bound for Skyfire locks? That beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge this is no more than a crass attempt to solely house Haliander's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand. And praise alone that he did. Lord Frankel's trial is upon us and we must act now if we are to clear his name. 
I don't want any of these weapons. Guess I'll take one. Come on, game. We can do this. Thank you. I hope internet's being dicky again. From the very first, I knew it could not be that so many members of House Hellionarte were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous allegations and put an end to this travesty. I will need to prepare a, a formal statement regarding these developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my words to Inquisitor Brigdy. Tell her that ha House Fortemps asks, nay, demands that Lord Franco's trial be postponed until a full investigation has been concluded. Postpone! What is it, my child? Hmm? Lord Horchifans will have the Inquisitors do what? But that's not possible! Inquisitor Gulain proceeds over Lord Franco's trial at which drop even as we speak. Fear not, if Lord Franco is indeed innocent, he shall walk in Halon's house with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. Oh boy! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just kick him off a cliff. It's fine. They have taken Lord Franco to witch drop? This is madness! The Inquisitor does not have sufficient grounds to subject him to that manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Magnanimous, I will dispatch you and one of my knights to witch drop to forestall the proceedings until such a time that I am able to join you and petition Inquisitor Gulaim in person. I will endeavor not to keep waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Franco alive. Got it. Kick Inquisitor's asses. I understand. But that's not really a trial. That's just murder. Like, eh, if you're innocent, you'll go to heaven. See, it's a win-win. <laughs> well, you die either way, but whoever said dying was bad. I'm gonna, gonna do it in a second. This is where my guild played a game of who can fall the closest once. It's really fun. Joseph Charlemagne's Franco de Helinarte, you stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers, these charges are false. The men and women of my line have ever opposed the Trevanians, and I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in service to the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow for, for the enemies of Ishgard. It is for Halone to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from the clip and entrust your fate to the fury. The righteous shall take their place in Halone's halls, while the wicked shall reveal their draken forms and be put to the sword. In the name of House Fortems, I beseech you, stay your hand. Inquisitor, we come on behalf of Lord Hauschefant. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that all charges against Lord Franco are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such time a full re-examination of the facts has been concluded. Lord Hauschefant has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he would harbor private doubts I might have allowed, but that he would 
dare to interfere in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See? I cannot. To defy this law of an inquisitor is to condemn heresy, a crime for which there is but one punishment. We must hold them until Lord Hoshifant arrives, Magnanimous, and remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Oh, but killing everyone else is fine. Get it? Got it. I f Oh, it's such a shame that we're not in Heaven's Sword yet. I feel I feel like putting some very few very awesome yells <laughs> and I, I serve the higher power just just kind of reminded me slightly of those like in heaven sword your enemies start talking which is awesome because during combat you can hear all sorts of funny things very funny things. Which are awesome. I demand you lay down your arms. Else I'll beat you up myself. Don't worry, that's what we're doing already. We're beating them up. Why is there... As a person that hates dragons, why do you have a dragon? Please tell me that. I swear that shouldn't be seen as normal. This is also a very weird fight in the fact that I'm not fighting like the main bad guy. Like he's just standing there and I'm like, yeah, he's untouchable, it's okay. N no worries lads, I'm not supposed to hurt him. Thank you for that stone, whoever threw that. May that was very useful. Are you running away? No, you're casting cure on yourself, you bastard. How are you so strong? Stop curing yourself. That's fairly unfair. I'm absolutely certain that that's cheating. This will not be forgotten. What? Why was there a wyvern? Oh my. Dicks. You are absolute dicks. Yay, duty complete. It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop. But this trial, like many others I fear, has been orchestrated by the enemies of House Halinarte. They have used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother that we may tear ourselves apart. The fevered imaginings of the desperate man. What proof have you of this? Well, how about the fact that we just witnessed a giant wyvern fighting on their side? By the fury, a draconian rosary. Then the knight who refused to yield, it was he who summoned the wyvern. A heretic in the ranks of temple knights. This has grave implications. 
Your claims will appear to have merit, Lord Hoshifant. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Franco pending further investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of what which first brought you to Corthus, Magnanimous. Pray locate your errand sh airship and use it. Use it for what? <laughs> Lord Hoshifant, I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy! You're too loyal to betray Ishgard and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you have jumped to your own free will. I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Alinarte. There, there, you stupid child. Praise alone, it did not come to that, but it profits, uh, profits us little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit this place, Magnanimous. Pray visit me at How Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. Don't worry, I have a big axe! I'm a woman with a big axe! And that's all that matters. Da, da, da. Having in mind how much of the next expansion theme was foreshadowed by friggin' level 30 something quests, it really makes me wonder what's after Stormblood? Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? I have no idea. Hopefully it's good. You took well, you look well, Magnanimous. Must I say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skillful warrior. Were it not for you, Lord Franco would surely have died defending the honor of his house, and I might well have perished at the hands of a heretic and his wyvern. House Fortems and House Helenarte shall never forget your service. Now let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. Phew! We still have the next quest! Good for us! <laughs> the man with knowledge of the enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. Ah! Somebody is riding the same mount I like to ride! That's Jacobo. How quickly the commoners' opinions change. They say Lord Franco is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring as to whereabouts of an airship last seen in Corthus several days before the calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during that period. I recall a small vessel come from the direction of Gridani and landed somewhere in the far northwest. Relying on my memory alone, I can say no more than that. However, were you to bring me the astroscope log from the evening in question, I could calculate a more accurate location. The log I require is volume 6 of 1572 readings. It should be stored with the other past logs on the uppermost floor of the observatorium just below your uh, the astroscope. I believe it will be a large le red leather bound tome. Though you ought to confirm the date and volume num number if you are all unsure. Six. You wrote 1,572 in five years? That's impressive, dude. That's a lot of writing. <sighs> Back after a bit of technical difficulties, we restarted the router, so hopefully that fixes the internet. Stop that. That's really immature. I like how somebody just asked in the novice channel, 
Is it better to level on Eureka or is it better to level on Toss of the Dead? And people are like, you have to be 70 to access Eureka. Yeah, Eureka doesn't give you levels. Yeah. Not, not, not when you're 70. Fake levels. It's not obviously a really good better choice. <laughs> Okay, we're now looking for volume six. That looks like looks red and leathery. Stop that. That's really gross. Don't say things like that. No, I don't. Go to the store. You're ruining my broadcast. You can show that to yourself. <laughs> well, after that exchange, we're off to give the book back to the cataloger. I'm gonna edit all of this out and none of you, n none of others would have seen it. Yay! <laughs> Yay for empty streams! I don't even know what you just said. What? Did you perchance find the correct log? The sixth volume from 1572? I would understand if you failed. The other catalogers were often careless when returning old volumes to the shelf. My word, you actually found it. This musty old smell brings back such fond memories. Ah, here we are. If you would permit me a moment to make some calculations. What are you even talking about? Hmm, it is a safe beard. The ship landed near the stone vigil, of all places, which means that the garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Hoshifant is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so mayhap uh, he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. Thank you. I needed to assault them anyway because they have Menphilia even though I don't really want her back. Want everyone else back if that counts. Oh, so you located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil. Ah, uh, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by dragons for years and all access to restricted by decree of house to and there. I will write a letter to Lord Drillament of Whiteburn Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you request Lord Francel do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead has concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well in your journeys, Magnanimous. May Halone guide you. Oh, okay, I, I'm mistaken. Stone Vigil is not where they keep the... The Garlean stone vigil is where to keep the dragons. That makes a lot more sense. That's the stone vigil. Durr. We also have a dungeon here. I wonder what that may be. Will I go there sometime soon? Like right now, maybe? That 
let's see. Oh, we're too low on complete the dungeons to actually care about finishing that one. Oh, oh, I went past. Whoops. Wonderful to see you again, Magnanimous. Is there anything I can do to repay your favor? So the airship you seek is likely inside a stone vigil. It shames me to say that Bliss too once wants an outpost held by House Halinarte, and the chaos that followed the calamity draconian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House during there instead had been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight, Lord Lord Trillimont. Nevertheless, I will write your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The Kravens who attempted to destroy House Halinarte have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless so harbor great hatred towards us, and towards you now as well. Okay. I don't see how the fact that people hate me is something new. They really don't. It's pretty normal. Do 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 I need to get all the way over there and the fact that there's level 40 friggin leaves right next to it somehow tells me that the next quest might not be quite my level which I will go mad if that's true I will be like, no, how dare you! I might need to use the remainder of my guild tests and every quest in this area if they said I'm not high enough level. On the upside, if we're only presenting the main story to YouTube, that would make my rendering job really easy. Just snip <laughs> almost all of the content with you can watch it on Twitch. Because I do upload I upload these things to Twitch it's like the full video, so in case you want to watch the unedited thing. Which is, you know, not not really recommended because it's really long and, and filled with all all of this blabber 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 stuff. We we will see what kind of playtime will I amass from doing this. Because I'm now going to be doing it more often. I finished Alice. And this is going to be my main my main let's play. Until until I'm done with it, I think. Because I'm going to stay sad. And before I come back to work and take rush all my hopes and dreams. But no, no. Not going to work as extremely as I did before anymore, I think. I'm going to be taking Saturdays off. God damn it, work. I'm going to take Saturdays off. Can't stop me. Can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Okay, hello. You desire an audience with Lord Drillamont, do you? Ha! I desire a night in the warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lords Horshafant and Franco, is it? A likely... Oh, you're serious. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Oh! <laughs> oh, just what I said. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Doo -doo. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Trillimont's attentions are focused solely on stolen vigil at the present. That's where I want to go, that's good. In any case, it's not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Old Boys. Yes, Sir Old Boys can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. That just sounds like I really do not want to deal with this right now. Please make somebody else deal with this.
All right, the entrance is right here. Hello! Sir Bernandir bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillamont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he's always had a moment to spare for a head Chinorgan Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? Upstairs? Oh, on the outside. I was like, where are the stairs? <laughs> Why doesn't their structure interconnect? Hello. Are you here to visit a patient, madam? What's this? Letters of introduction for House Fortems and Helenarte? What's a document such as these? You needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak with Sir Goldenox. He should know Lord Drillamont's current whereabouts. <laughs> Go and speak to all of these people. Hello. I'm looking for the master of the house. Have you seen him? Oh no, no, I couldn't have seen him. Did you see him? Why, why are you following me around? Why? Do you have nothing better to do, Alpenode? Where did Sid go? Did you, like, misplace Sid and just... Are just following me around on your own now? Because I think that's what you're doing. Why are they in the habit of building towers? What reason have you for barging into... Oh, I see. Well, you're in luck. Lord Drillamont is just up the stairs. Letters or no, though, I would not expect much. House Durand there, as a whole, do not hold adventures in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect, and it shall be returned in kind. Respect me. Sir Godux permitted your passage? Very well speak. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scale skin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the fury itself? We are the science of the seventh dawn, Lord Trillmont. You know our name, and you know our deeds. We are come to Quarthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sidnan Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive? But that's impossible! Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Guardian history, as House Durand dare marshals and forces to retake the Stone Vigil, who should appear in white brain form, but three mysterious strangers. Said Garland, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two scions of the Seventh Dawn, defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should hope that House Durand Dare would have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the stone vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, they nearly believed this murmur's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it, until you declare your true intentions as well. Could be moons before House Durand Dare purges the dragons from Stone Vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Said Magnanimous, we must do whatever it takes to earn Lord Drillman's trust. Understood? How about we just stab him? I, ha I have the axe for it. We can just fight our way in. <laughs> Come now, you didn't think it would be that easy to earn Lord Drillman's trust, did you? Even if you are who you claim to be, it would be reckless for him to believe your story without question. 
At the very least, you ought to show your support for us during there by calling feral crocs in our stead. A simple gesture like that will probably earn you respect of Sir Clotarjan, as he's always struggling to find men to attend to this task. Why not give it a try? Ah, go and kill random crocodiles for us, because I can't be arsed. Okay. Oh, but hey, look, three, three more quests. And to be fair, you're giving me like 20,000 XP for just croc extermination. I don't mind that. Are any of you up here? No. I really hate rounded stairs. They go in circles and make me dizzy. <laughs> That's the proper way of going down. By breaking your feet. You, the last responsible for the commotion upstairs? Aye, who travels fast in white brim front? I gather you still wish to charge Lord Drellsman's mind? If there is one thing I've learned about the man in my time here is that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Wind over the barracks and he's sure to take notice. How you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contain no meat whatsoever and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them streak steaks using mud puppy tail meat. That would be a quality meal, this is true, but I'll be damn sight better than nothing. If you if you have mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Danifin Pass? And take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens mud puppies by cogging their mucus glands, trying their skin. <laughs> Fillet them. <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's you! Beg your pardon, miss, but I have heard whispers that you wish to prove yourself trustworthy to Lord Drillmont. Perhaps we can be of service to one another. I am humble herald of House Halinarte, you see, and I was to deliver a most important missive to Whitebrim Front. I was travelling along the road when a fearsome flurry of snow began to fall. As the curtains of white descended around me, a sudden gust of wind from the sea of clouds tore the parchment from my hands. I fell to my knees and groped blindly, hoping to recover it, but to no avail. It could not have been blown far from the road, but the wilds are treacherous and filled with terrors. I had no choice but to seek shelter here, and so I must ask you to recover the missive and deliver it to Lord Drummond in my stead. Ah, <sighs> go and get a parcel for me. For I cannot be arsed. Oh, so like. Oh, it's very, very obvious that it's the friggin' Inquisitor setting everybody up because he's like, oh, don't, don't, don't help them! Not when two other houses trust them. I don't like those two other houses. <laughs> oh, well, that's like 60,000 XP. After being XP starved, I will welcome that very much. I don't want to be doing that. All I want is a mud puppy. Or rather, a letter. A letter will suffice. Ah! Far enough.
And there we go! That's one thing done. Another thing is over here. Something about making food? <laughs> I like food! I would like some mud puppy steaks myself, me. You making food? Yay! I'll have some food. <laughs> Yay! Not making the same mistake twice for... I accidentally... How was it? You know, when I accidentally fought the enemy without weakening them, it was really hard. And I was like, oh my god, I'm dying to a single enemy, what has the world come to? Then again, the time when I nearly died to with the three sheep was far better time. That was a great time. I will teleport to Dragon Head and run from there. I can't be arsed flying all the way over there. Why do they care about feral crocs all the way over here? That's miles away. Can't the fort closer to it take care of it? Surely they should be able to. Are you gonna attack that feral- no, no, you're running a- wait, wait that's really nice. Cause I want him. Don't even know what is the point in debuffing him when he can barely hit me. Also, why exactly five as well? Is that enough of a population call? Did you count it that five every single day keeps the crocs away? These two are sitting side by side, which is kind of nice of them. Okay, all the way back there. Because these people don't build etherites. Like, there, we built one in the middle of the zone, that's enough, right? How about one at every outpost?
You just run back and forth, back and forth in the grayness of the snow. Everything in here is gray except for that sprite thing. And their rooftops are green. Oh, Ishgard. If only I could enter you instead. That would be so nice. And yeah, that is the entrance to the expansion. But if I approached, they would probably be like, What are you doing here? It's not for strangers. <laughs> all the dark nights. All being emo all over the place. Going in pain I shall live. Still remember the great disappointment when Samurai wasn't a tank class. Even though why would it be? But Final Fantasy XI! Okay! Tail puppy food. Oh, mud puppy. Oh dear, remind me to never wander near mud puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, this should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this and this and voila! Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take the three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and up above. So you're just giving them like pure steak. Okay. <laughs> you, you didn't even cook them. It took him like two seconds. <laughs> you fucking donkey. Aw, oh, Tiny is complaining at the door. She might want to go to the toilet, but the door's closed. You there, lass. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my thrust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yes, yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I had the strength of ten men and their wits besides. And I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. I, I did the thing with the crocodiles. A little bird me tells me you slew some crocs in an effort to curry a favor. I'm afraid you've been had, miss. The young fellow merely sought to shirk his duties. Still, your heart was in the right place. It cannot be denied that the people of Corthus are better off without these beasts. Very well, I will see that Lord Rilmond is made aware of your deeds. Do try to understand my lord's position, though. It's his responsibility to ensure that White Rain Front is prepared for every eventuality but in an endless blizzard or a Tripharian assault. He will not put our efforts to retake the Stone Vigil at risk without a good cause, which you have yet to give. I want my ship! Ships in your, in your Stone Vigil. Give. We ought to at least receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken place. Here you go, here's one. Is that a fresh cooked steak? Alone's blessings be upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meat or not, it's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Ever must we train to maintain our skill at arms, yet never are we to receive proper sustenance? You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate the house during there must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Yay! Fed people. Who do I report to? Oh, you. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale. Ah, uh, but I've forgotten about the hard-working at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. 
mind taking the steak to Tsunata? She doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she's neglected to attend her own. Steak. Bring you some steak. With literally no seasoning and cooked in two seconds, but steak regardless. Oh, hello, Sid. You're just standing in the infirmary now. Beg your pardon, madam, but I am busy attending to this man. I will be with you in a moment. Here's steak. Is that sniff sniff? Come to think of it, it has been a quite a while since I last ate. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat to rest right away. Uh, I'll take that one. Tenacity is a pretty useless thing. So it's better to avoid it. I bring you a letter. Did I not make myself clear? Be gone from my sight, foreigner, or I shall have you removed. Let her. A missive? Give me that. Houses four times and Helen Arte hereby formally advised that all restrictions on employment be... Huh. These are not more than ill-conceived notions of a hopeless romantic and laden lordling. House Durant would not even be in this position had not House Halandarte failed to hold the stone vigil. They would have us pit one horde against another. Nay, I say, you need only his guardian steel to cleanse the realm of the godless heathens. Who do I talk to? Is that downstairs? Yeah, it is. Lord Drillmond rejected our proposal, didn't he? Could hear him shouting even from here. Alas, he's not the only one to heap disdain upon House Helnarte. Ever since we lost the steel of stone vigils, we have been at mercy of the other high houses. We should be the ones fighting to reclaim the lost outpost, yet it is House Durandair that must pay the price for our failure. But how can I bear Lord Drillmond's harsh words back to Lord Frankel? Eh? Mayhap I should remain here for once. Ooh, there's a quest over there and it's still my level! Amazing! There's a cat that, that's very, very carefully tapping my foot with her nails. It's really cute, but kind of painful. Might I have a word with you, Magnanimous? It concerns the Chirurgians. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack of sufficient alum bricks for their needs, you see. So I used some of the broken equipment to craft a more advanced alum brick, both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories since working with my hands can kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device are cores of six ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. More- oh! Well, your request doesn't make me go that far, so I'm okay with it, Sid. Request me to do things fairly close by more often. You give me XP, I do a fairly close by thing, and everybody's happy. I mean, it's not the right place, but here's one. Sure, it's higher level, but it's closer. I 
Unfortunately, I think that's the only one in the area. And another one! Two more! And I think then I'll have to turn around and go back because I don't see any more. That's like at the end of the zone where they should be. There just isn't that many. I'm back the first two would have respawned that would be nice now imagine this was the release of the game and multiple two people would be trying to kill ice sprites this sounds like one hell of a hell don't think that they thought that it's out very well novice chat is talking about should the tank ever have a limit breakout I say yes piss everybody off and always waste it on tank limit break that is the best thing you could ever do My ear is hurting from the headphones. Okay, Sid, I have your building materials. Hope that makes you happy. Have you obtained the course? Here they are. What an amazing device! But is it truly an Olympic, sir? Never seen like it before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine. While it's certainly impressive, I have no idea how to use it. Nevertheless, if it is as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Where thee, the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts, wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at cost. The, their earnest efforts are but a means to an yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? 
Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. I almost succumbed to the temptation preferred by these unbelievers. What does that man detest us so? It's all because we interrupted Lord Frankel's trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Oh, yay! Actual jewelry. This is great. If the Enterprise is indeed inside the stone vigil, then we must convince Droll Dr Dr Lord Drillman to cooperate. And obviously, I have to level up again. <gasps> that was about you. Before we can persuade Lord Drillman to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Glaim that we are not his enemy. But just how may Mo go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Quarthus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of Whitebrin Front. Share your findings with Alpinode in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Ah, that rhymed. I don't think... I, I think we're being a bit thick here. I'm very certain that... Hey. Oh. Oh, I get a free glass. That's nice. Uh, I'm very certain that he's the bad guy. Inquisitor Gulaim? Yes, of course, I know of him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to Whitebrand Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in the snow that day and I had the ill fortune of being... A Assigned to the Night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the halls and patrolled the exterior and darkness of pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but I slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed where I had lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Gulaim rescued me, carrying me unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, madam, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. Where is that other person that I'm supposed to talk to? I don't... Where are they? Where are they? Oh, right, there's a place underneath here. Hello! Inquisitor Gulaim? I haven't the foggiest of whom you speak, unbeliever. Aye, we have learned of, our de of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not party to whoever dastardly schemes you hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you! Inquisitor is the bad guy, guys! <laughs> Under Inquisitor Gulaim's watchful gaze and president in numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly righteous man to protect us. Think after this quest I'll be done with the stream, and then the next time that I'll stream it will be... Yeah, Easter. This is nice. <laughs> but don't do that on stream. That make that silly. Silly. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Oh! You're here now. Shiver. <laughs> In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it as soon after arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. 
Never mind, our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with the Irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm, it should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I'm beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review that those testimonials obtained, Magnanimous. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor's Goliath's motivations. Hooray and armor change! Oh, oh, phew. I always get scared when quests change. Now I look like the rainbow! Something troubles me about the wounded knight's account. Claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness and he saw outside the eastern gate, yes? The main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we have ridden in white in front, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from the north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but the deep chasm. Assuming Sir Jalotes is not misremembering the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me. May have retracting his steps will shed light on this mystery. And we will do this the next time. So thank you for watching and I will be back during Easter because during next Saturday I'm <laughs> rendering these videos. So yeah, see you then. I'm very happy with our progress by the way, we're already level 40.